I wanted to put together a video of my favorite accessories that I've been using in 2017. As far as all these accessories go, I will have links to them all in the description below, so be sure to check them out. First up is the fast charging kit, and I really, really like this. I've been doing quite a bit of traveling in 2017, and one of the things that I've needed the most is to be able to make sure my iPad is completely topped off. The regular charger that comes in the box with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro just doesn't quite charge fast enough for me. So this has been incredibly handy when I travel. It's the 29 watt charger, plus you have to get the USB-C to lightning cable. It's incredibly annoying that it got, it's completely separate. And honestly, I think the package is a little overpriced, but for what you get and what it does, I absolutely love it. And it's been a lifesaver for me. Next up is the 12 South Park Slope. I absolutely love this device. It keeps it at a comfortable angle so when I'm editing photos and videos that I can work on it really quickly. I did a full review on this so I'll put it in the description below but in, in short, if you do a lot of photo editing, graphic design, drawing, editing, anything like that that you wanna keep an iPad kind of flat but lift it up just a little bit, maybe you work with the Apple Pencil a lot, this is a must have. I absolutely love this device. Next up is the SanDisk flash drive. And this flash drive has been incredibly handy to have. I had to move some video files between a Mac and my iPad earlier this year. And honestly, it would have taken forever to use AirDrop to do it. So this was incredibly great to have. I absolutely love this device. Basically, it's pretty simple. It's got a lightning in and it's got a USB in. You plug the lightning into your iPad, you plug the USB into a PC or a Mac, and you can move files back and forth. You can also do auto photo backups with it as well. So that's kind of handy to have. Next is the SD card reader. The SD card reader for the iPad is pretty awesome if you're a photographer. It uh, has lightning end and then it has an SD card in. This way you don't have to you know, put your photos on a Mac and then use AirDrop to move them over or have to use the really crappy Wi-Fi that's built into a lot of DSLRs. The SD card reader is quick, you plug it in, you throw your SD card in, it opens up photos and you can auto import the files. The next one shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. I kind of talk about it whenever I can, but it's the Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil has absolutely been a lifesaver for me, and I'm not much of an artist. I don't really draw or anything. I use it for editing audio, video, photos, things like that. I also use it just for simple navigation. It's really handy, especially if you have RSI issues. Um, it really helps save your hands and, and really allows you to change up your input methods. And if you're using an Apple Pencil, having a stand for it so you can keep next to your iPad on your desk is really handy too. The Apple Pencil stand I have is, I've had it for over a year now and I absolutely love it. It's weighted too, so when you uh, put it on the desk, it doesn't move around if you bump it. It's, it's pretty heavy. The next one kind of might be a surprise to you guys, but it's a MiFi controller. And what that is, is a made for iPhone controller. And really this will work with any iOS device, including the Apple TV. There's a lot of great games on iOS that take advantage of the controller. And a lot of people don't know that. I use it for games like the Knights of the Old Republic, Lego Star Wars games, even some of the Grand Theft Auto games work on it. There's whole websites you can find, and I'll, I'll put one, a link to one in the description below, but there's whole websites that have a list of all the games that the controllers work with. So if you see some games on there that you really want to play, consider picking up a controller. It makes playing the game a thousand times better. Having an iPad stand is really handy when it comes to working with the iPad, especially if you have an external keyboard. Yeah, I like it because it has cable management built in, so you can have cables come through the back and wrap around. It's also really, it's not too high up, so you can still get to the iPad comfortably while you're typing. So if you're typing and the need to move something um, on the screen, you can still reach up and do that. It's not, a lot of stands try and make the iPad too tall, and it makes it uncomfortable for, to go from keyboard to iPad and back. So I like this stand. I think it's a real, it's a comfortable mixture of all those things that, that are needed. I have a Belkin battery pack and this thing has saved me quite a few times. Just being able to charge from anywhere is really handy, especially when I'm not anywhere near power, like I'm in the car or someplace that just, you know, I don't have the option to do that. So it's really handy to have and I recommend everybody has one in their backpack. Another one that shouldn't be a surprise because I talk about it a lot is the Canopy plus Magic Keyboard Combo. I find this combo really handy and honestly the best keyboard fit for the iPad. It has the iPad stand perfect so you can fit the iPad in there and work. Plus you can reach the iPad just fine. I think it's a great combination and anybody that's interested in using a, a, an iPad with an external keyboard should check it out. Lastly, and this really isn't iPad specific at all, but it's the Audio-Technica ATH M50X. These headphones, I absolutely love them. They're just normal headphones, so they'll work with any device, but I wanted to throw them in because they're absolutely my favorite headphones I've ever used. They're studio quality headphones, but they have a price tag of pretty affordable 
for a nice pair of headphones. Um, they're not three hundred dollars, which you know, a normal pair of studio headphones. That's what you're kind of looking at. So, I absolutely love these headphones. If you're looking for something when you're, if you edit audio or video, or even if you just want to listen to music at a really high quality, I recommend you check out these headphones. So that's kind of my favorite accessories for um, 2017. If you guys have something that you really love using with your iPad, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.